ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our little theater. Are you happy to be here tonight? <laughs> the Princess Bride. I started playing this show oh, over 30 years ago. <laughs> My father called me in from the riverbanks in Florida, and he had a big book, and I was 10 years old. So in many ways, I am the kid in this show. He shared this story with me, and it stayed with me. There's nothing I can do that lets that spirit of adventure go out of me, and nothing helps me share it more than doing this. I am so happy to share a tale that's full of the giants and the villains and the princesses. That spirit of adventure is very important. I'm happy to share it with you tonight, and I'm even happier because I have an incredible cast that wants to share it with you. And one thing they run on is your applause. So right now and throughout the show, can we show them that we're here? woman left me alive, but she gave to me these scars as a reminder of my loss. I keep the six-fingered sword as an heirloom of the man I love so much. I have never seen its equal. When I was strong enough, I dedicated my life to the study of fencing. So the next time we meet, I will not fail. I will approach the six-fingered woman and I will say, Hello. <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You've done nothing but study swordplay all these years. Yes, but I cannot find her. It's been 20 years now, and I'm starting to lose confidence. I worked for Vizzini to pay the bills. Not a lot of money in revenge. <laughs> well, I certainly hope you do find her. Someday. You are ready, then. Whether I am or not, you've been more than fair. You know, you seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. <laughs> See you again. Nice ball. I have been told so. You want to use a bed any defense against me, huh? Well, I thought it fitting due to the rocky terrain. Naturally, you must expect me to attack back with Capo Ferro. Naturally. But I find Tybalt counts out Capo Ferro. Don't you? Unless the enemy has a studied his Agrippa. Which I have. You're wonderful. Thank you. I have worked very hard to become so. Well, not quite hard enough. I admit it. You are a better than I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you do not know. <laughs> Tell me. I am not left handed. <laughs> Amazing. I ought to be after 20 years. Now. There's something I want to tell you. Please, inform me. I am not left-handed either. <laughs> <Run away! laughs> Who are you? No one of consequence. I must know. Get used to disappointment. <laughs> Kill me quickly. Please understand. I would as soon destroy a stained glass window as an artist like yourself. However, so I cannot have you following me either. Please know 
I hold you in the highest regards. So I think no man in a century will suffer as greatly as you will. <laughs> scream of ultimate suffering. <laughs> my heart made that sound when the six-fingered woman slaughtered my father. The man in black makes it now. The man in black? Yes. His girlfriend is going to marry another tonight. Who else has caused for ultimate suffering? <laughs> Excuse me. Where is the man in black? You get there from this grove, yes? Physic. Jog her memory. <laughs> Sorry, Diego, I didn't mean to charge her so hard. The zoo of death. <laughs> He's dead. No. It is just not fair.